Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at well, using Chinese phones in Europe, or in my case, uh, the United Kingdom, England, uh, to be precise. Now, I have a couple of phones here. Now, if you're like me, if a brand new phone is released, say in China, which a lot of uh, phones are initially before they launch globally or uh, Europe, you want to get your hands on those phones pretty quick. So that's what I did with the Xiaomi 12 and the Xiaomi 12 Pro. But there are a few things to consider when buying a Chinese phone, which is not officially launched globally or Europeanly, Europeanly or in Europe, is the ROM. The software that comes with them is that there are Chinese software. So you need to check on these websites like Giztop, Banggood, and other sort of websites like that that do stock and sell these Chinese smartphones. Always check uh, their software. So their language. So in this case, the Xiaomi 12X and the 12 Pro on Giztop, it said English languages and Chinese languages uh, were fully supported. So if you do speak uh, and obviously can read English as well, then they'll be fine. You also need to make sure that these companies are, are installing, say, Google Play, the Play Store. Now in the description on, in Giztop, it does say that uh, Google Play will be fully installed and usable. Um, so when you turn the phone on, it will look like this. So this is the, the 12X, MIUI 13 with Chinese language there. And you do have the English option there. So you press English, next. I'm gonna skip a network for now, but you can add a network. Uh, go next. Just taking you through the process really of setting up a, a phone. Skip the step for SIM card for the moment. Uh, skip that. You can set up a fingerprint if you want, but I'm just going to skip all this just to get through to the main uh, to the main bit. Okay, this obviously this is the uh, the Me AI, uh, which is like Google Assistant or Siri. I'm going to skip that. Next. I've read that, but I haven't yet. Yeah, full screen gestures. So it is pretty much the same as you would set up any normal sort of smartphone at home. You do get the English language. Um, back that, just skip that step. Okay. Set up complete. Okay. So let's put that there to, to one side. So here we have it. Freshly factory reset smartphone, or if you get a smartphone from Giztop or anything, it will already be all pretty much set up with Google Play installed as well. On here, if you do factory set a phone, it will wipe it. Okay, so at the minute, when you look around on this phone, there's actually no Google Play services or Google Play there at all. Now, in order to do that, you need to go to Get Apps. Okay, so I just had to connect um, it to a Wi-Fi network and there's actually an update available for the, the 12 Pro, which is good. So you still get your software updates. So I'm here in the UK. It's a Chinese ROM, but it's downloading the updates anyway. Now, like I said, if you do factory reset a phone when you get it, whatever they've done at Giztop or wherever will wipe Google Play services off there. So if you look on here at the moment, there is no Google Play there at all. Now you can get it back uh, through the App Store, the Xiaomi App Store. Now, I don't want to install all these apps. I'm gonna untick all these. This is the first time when you open it and click into it, it's recommending you to download all these apps. You don't want them. I don't want them anyway. So untick all the green ones. There's still one selected somewhere there. Go. No, don't want any of these either. Go away. So I can't read a single thing. Uh, what are these? Up, I think that's updates, but I don't want to update anything. Okay, so this is the Xiaomi App Store. So if we type in here, oh, disagreed to that. Agreed to that. Now obviously, keyboards. Agree to the keyboards. I will eventually just download. See, I don't even know what that says, but I'm just clicking that and that. That is one of the issues. If you can't read Chinese,
Oh, that just popped up then. Google, when you type in Goog, that comes up. Google Play, it's saying update, but when actually on the phone, which I just showed you earlier, come here, Google is nowhere to be seen on there, like the icon, like Google Play. So this is the only way I've managed to find out how to install it, or it is already installed, but it's hidden, is if you type in Goog, and that come up, Google Play, click update, download, Installing now. Open. And there you have it. And then you can sign in uh, with your Google account. And we should have Play Store there. So that's the only way I found out how to do it. You, other people might know where it's sort of hidden. But like I showed you earlier, it was nowhere to be seen. Just go to apps, type in Google Play or Goog, like I did and it appeared. Update it and it whacks it onto there for you. Because I know sometimes, or some people think if they buy a phone um, and it's already, you know, they turn it on and it just enters into this state here. It's like, what apps have they had installed? Have they, logged, have they installed certain apps to sort of key log all your entries or something like that? So some people like to actually uh, factory reset it when they get it. But doing so with a Chinese phone will remove some of the, uh, the settings and whatever they've done at these uh, these shops online and stuff, factory resetted it, but I've managed to get Play Store back as well. Sign in as you would normally. Okay, so that was our demo sort of factory reset phone and install. Now if we come to the 12X, so this is a phone which still has Play Store, but obviously I've been using it a while. I can still get my the same apps: Asphalt 9, Call of Duty. Uh, also the Play Games app that sometimes you need to use on some games. There's Facebook on there, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Twitter. All the apps work exactly as they should. Uh, no problem at all, really. So in that respect, it's absolutely fine. It still works as a normal smartphone. Um, only, obviously on here, look, we get this, this sort of Chinese language. I don't know how to turn this, or if I can turn this off, on this particular software but this is a Chinese ROM and you can use it in England anyway uh, I can't say for sure say in Spain or Italy or whatever but on here they have English and Chinese support so you need to make sure you look out for that when you do purchase these online now there's one other thing you need to also double check with your service provider on bands like 4G bands 5G and 3G because of the software in here, it might not support certain bands. So what I'm gonna do now is if I, this is my pixel, so I've got my pixel here. Okay, I'm just gonna turn uh, Wi-Fi off, done. Okay, so at the moment I have 4G on my pixel. Let's take this case off. And I haven't got no SIM card in in my um, Xiaomi 12X yet. So I'm gonna take the SIM card out of here. Out of the pixel. The 5G is still relatively new for a lot of people. So I've got 4G up in this area. 5G is limited uh, where I'm where I actually live at the moment. So uh, let me find so down here. Pop that in there. Pop the SIM card in. Pop that in there. Yeah, so this is EE. Um, one of the common bands for I think Europe is uh, B20 for 4G. Um, but Again, when you're shopping online at these Chinese smartphones with Chinese software, double check the bands that they offer on the phone or in the software and double check with your service provider like EE, uh, Vodafone or whatever. So I'll put that in. I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off completely so we're just dependent on mobile data. Now, as you can see here, I'm gonna flash it up there a lot. We have 4G Plus. 
So this was this was displaying 4G. It's, it's pretty much the same. 4G, uh, 4G. So do make sure. I think the majority of them now are pretty good in that respect. But you do need to double check the bands. 4G bands, 5G bands, and the basically the English language. So I have been happily using the Xiaomi 12X. Oh, phone call on the Xiaomi 12X. Hello? Have you got my marking tape? No. Yeah, I, whatever I had is, I've had an old roll for ages. Masking tape, it's just, yeah, I haven't got it, mate. All right. Sorry, bye. Okay. And phone calls work absolutely fine as well. So that's, that was a fantastic test. I did not set that up either, that, that phone call. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. And then obviously when these phones are launched globally or in Europe, you can flash ROM. You can download the ROM from certain places and plug it into a PC with the, the correct software and you can flash the global ROM on, onto these smartphones and then you'll be fantastic, good to go. But I'm just telling you that if you do or if you are very, very eager to get these new smartphones that are released in China before anywhere, uh, you can buy them, but just make sure they support your native language, like where I am, England, it's got... English on there and obviously Chinese is, is the main one and obviously check out the bands as well 4G and 5G bands and if you do get a phone with Play Store pre-installed when you factory reset it you're more than likely going to lose it but you should be able to get it back like I just showed you um, there on that one and uh, like I said let's go on here a minute uh, still finalizing an update actually on the Xiaomi 12 Pro there. You still get updates as well. Uh, of course, Xiaomi are pushing out updates anyway. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, even if it is a Chinese smartphone, you will get updates available as well. That, th that is pretty much it, guys. I mean, I can use the 12X and the 12 Pro as if they are actually launched globally or in Europe anyway. The only couple of niggling little things is obviously the, the Chinese little bits that are added in there. I don't understand a word. Unless, what the hell is that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What the? Let's get a Google Lens here. Google Lens. And let's go to translate. What's it, what's it translating here? No connection. Oh, yeah. Let's turn Wi Fi on. Done. <clears throat> there we go. So it's sort of welcome back. Red envelope benefits. Oh. What's that saying? Inventory of the most surprising moments of the whole network. Top 80 second clip. Yeah, so if you really get stuck, you can use Google Lens or whatever, and let's take a picture of that, and translate it. You can see it's translated that there, and God knows what they're doing on there with their asses out. Weird. Uh, but yeah, I hope this video has been useful. Uh, this is, video is for anyone who is living in, well, I suppose, in the United Kingdom, really. But anywhere in Europe, just double-check the things that I've mentioned uh, when you are buying from China, uh, just to make sure you don't want to buy it, wait a couple of weeks for it to arrive, and then some things aren't working. So I hope this video has been super helpful and useful. Thank you very much for watching. Please smash that like button, subscribe as well, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.